This is the Carl Thursday walkthrough. Carl, the official healthcare provider of Fighting Illini Athletics. Welcome back to the Thursday walkthrough. Martin O'Donnell here with Coach Lovey Smith. And Coach, I feel like we spend a lot of time talking about what happens, you know, between the white lines on Saturdays in particular. But, you know, obviously, you know, student athletes on this team, they're going to school, they're contributing to the community. I guess let's start with academics. How has the team done academically as far as your expectations go so far this fall, and especially all these young players? How are they transitioning into college life? Transitioning well. And uh, as you said, they are student athletes, so the student part has to take priority. We uh, can get the players for a four-hour period at the most uh, each day. So most of the time, they're a regular student. And you mentioned, you know, first off class is going to class. Uh, and everything that that entails. We also have study halls for mm -hmm. them. They meet with their tutors. So there's a lot of things that they do academically off the field. And we say uh, the four hours, but it's just not football and meetings. It's also, there's a little strength and conditioning and they're lifting. So it's a full day's work our players go through each day. Well, and do you talk to the team much? I assume you do, but you know, emphasizing that you know, they're really role models. I mean, role models not only in the community here in Champaign-Urbana and Illinois fans, but back in their hometowns, talking about those opportunities that they can provide, just, you know, being somebody that their hometown can, can rally around or take a vested interest in. Uh, yes, we do. The process started really before that. Uh, when we started looking at certain individuals, what have they done? You know, everybody has a history, so you start with that. But going through the process, we let them know exactly what we expect of them once they become a part of our Fighting Illini team and how they do represent themselves. But I think now uh, young athletes are coming in knowing a lot more about that. You know, uh, high school programs do a lot better job of preparing the guys a little bit. Most of these guys that we're going to recruit, they've been put on a, a, a pedestal a little bit before. So they understand what it's like and how many people are watching them at all time and what's expected of them. Well, and one thing that, you know, it happened again last week against Purdue, but it's been a little bit of a theme this season is not being able to close out games. And certainly in your coaching career, the obviously having been through you know, a lot of different seasons, what has gotten teams like that over the hump in your experience to where they can actually close out the game in the second half? You know, Martin, we uh, start every day in practice with a simple song, Keep On Pushing by uh, Impressions and Curtis Mayfield. I, mean, I think that's what you have to do in situations like we're going through right now. Uh, you have a plan, and you just keep, you make the necessary corrections, mm -hmm. but you stay with your approach to uh, daily improvement. And eventually I found that you get over the hump. So that's what we're doing. We're going to start back practice again this week, correct the, the, the mistakes we made from the previous game, and then on that practice, try to take another step. Just inch by inch is where we are. Well, when you're playing a song like Keep On Pushing, are you having to educate them? As to, as to who the artists are? That, that is a great question, and uh, I do. Because the young generation, I know an awful lot about you know, real music. Everything is about rap right now, so I do. And most of my songs, when I get a chance to pick them out, have a little bit of old flavor to them. Okay. With meaning behind every song, though. Okay. I would assume nobody ever takes exception to the fact that you don't call anything coming out today real music, right? I mean, that's... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd say that, of course. Uh, rap, there's some great rap music also. <laughs> I just tend to go a different direction. Well, yeah, you got to play the contrarian. That's part of your role. That's part of it. Uh, well, looking forward to this week, uh, Indiana Hoosiers uh, yes. coming into Champaign. And Indiana, you mentioned it earlier this week in your press conference, a little bit of different. You know, they're a team that really excels throwing the ball, averaging over 250 yards passing per game. And to kind of take a step back from that, you know, Illinois played quite a bit of man coverage this year. What are some of the keys that you would express to people with respect to man coverage? You're a defensive back. What are, come to the, what are some of the big picture things that you need to know first off? Well, when you get in a man-to-man -man situation, first off, you're saying that, you know, in zone, a lot of times zone is based on, you know, keeping the ball in front of you, mm -hmm. don't give it the big play. But there are some situations where you can't afford a completion or you just want to play tight coverage. And... When you say man-to-man, -man, I mean, that's the competition part. A lot of defensive backs would like to play man-to-man -man each time mm -hmm. to just put it on themselves. So where we are right now, what we're looking for are some of the same skills, uh, ball skills, number one. And just the discipline to carry your technique 
throughout the play. Mm. And eventually, whether it's zone or it's man, it's about being able to finish a play once the ball is in there. Well, those are some good coaching tips there. And just to take another step back, who was one of the first coaches that had a big impact on your life? Well, I, I think most athletes, coaches and all, will talk about their high school, their early coaches. And I had a great coach in Jim Norman that taught me in high school, big influence. My seventh grade coach, uh, Coach Arnold, down in Houston now, is still in my life each week. Uh, but then also TV. I grew up a diehard Dallas Cowboys fan. I saw Coach Landry on the sideline each week. He had a big influence on my, on my career. And, John Cooper, Larry Marmy, so many college coaches along the way have. Well, and give me a scouting report on Lovey Smith, the football player, when you were playing. Dust off that scouting report. Give it to on me. how I remember it right now or, or how it, hey, it happened look, back then. Look, this is all you. Oh, no, I, had a, I was fortunate enough to have a great, uh, to have played on a great, in a great high school program mm -hmm. with some great teams. So I was a team player. That's why nowadays, you know, the athlete that's not the most talented, to me, if you know what you're doing and you work hard, uh, you, have an op you have a chance to be successful if you just start with that. Know what you're, gonna, know what you're supposed to do is play and play hard. You have an opportunity to be successful, and I was definitely one of those type of players. Well, Coach, appreciate you taking time again, and thanks for stopping by the Thursday walkthrough. This is the Carl Thursday walkthrough. Carl, the official health care provider of Fighting Illini Athletics. Looking for a card that gives you more? Illini Visa Rewards Card. Earn points every day to fly any airline, anytime, no blackout dates. The Illini Visa Rewards Card. Available only through U of I Community Credit Union.